the raven, the puma, the shadow, the hunter, the gray eagle. A new chapter in Army aviation history was written when these unmanned aircraft, as well as manned aircraft and troops on the ground, worked in concert to provide a unique look at the battle space. Music, manned, unmanned system integration capability. For the first time, we flew live Shadow, Hunter, and Gray Eagle from the same cockpit with the same software and the same hardware. With the UGCS, we had the universal operator, one person, one person flying all three airplanes. The universal ground control system is the heart of the music they are making. It's capable of controlling the flight and payload of multiple unmanned aircraft systems from a single ground control element. And there is a mobile unit for the soldier in the field. You really are enabling very quickly a common view of a particular area of interest on the battlefield, which improves what we call air ground integration. It's all about sharing information quickly throughout the battle space. Do it, do it, do it. This all adds up to a lethal combination when engaging the enemy. They can be looking around, they can develop information for the commander so he can make a determination whether the limited asset, the Kiowa Warrior or the Apache, needs to be dispatched to a situation or an area prior to sending them out. The uh, pilot will be able to see exactly what the UAV sees and uh, also be able to transmit this information to the ground and also transmit his, his sight video to the ground as well. The most versatile of the bunch is the Gray Eagle. It's equipped with an array of three cameras, the Triclops. We said, why don't we make the mini UGCS be able to control a, a sensor pack ball on the Gray Eagle, uh, separate from the native sensor, and why don't we have an additional sensor that we can hand off to the Apache operator. This allows troops on the ground or pilots in the air to track multiple targets at once from different locations. Instead of showing up and hoping that they have a good visual picture um, from the description. We getting that view in the cockpit versus being low to the ground, you're getting you're developing that situational awareness and allow the pilots to be able to uh, react more quickly. You can identify the have better situational understanding and be more uh, lethal on the battlefield. The Army is investing a lot of uh, resources and effort to continue to grow this system. So it, it's the future of uh, how we're going to operate on the battlefield. From Dugway Proving Ground, Utah, I'm Specialist Chuck Gill.